You can choose to go to operas if you want to or not. It's no big deal. I mean, you can choose to go to football games or not. But you cannot choose not to be involved in architecture. I had just heard from so many people that if you have any room in your schedule, you need to try to fit in Larry's class. I think a lot of architecture professors focus more on architecture students, whereas Larry has a huge influence on, on the university and the campus as a whole. And just, I mean, you hear stats about him having taught 10% of the university um, student population at any point in time and educating them on architecture and design, which I think is very rare in his field. He's, he's clearly so absorbed in architecture and just loves everything about it. And then he translates that into a class so, so well. It's not possible. You will, through your entire life, be embraced in, will be consumed in architecture. When I was a freshman, my mom had to come to, or didn't have to, she came to Parents' Day, and um, Larry spoke to all the parents, and my mom was just like, oh man. She went back to Parents' Day, I think, almost exclusively to hear Larry speak. Winston Churchill, at the end of World War II, uh, he's making a plea to uh, uh, Parliament to try to get money for the rebuilding of London. He says, we shape our buildings, thereafter our buildings shape us. He sold architecture and, and how important it is to our society and to us as individuals. Uh, Larry's philosophy is that he's, he's all about people and he's all about um, the broader sense of, of being an architect and being in society and it's not just um, the lines on paper and the design. It's, uh, it's, it's about people in their lives. So if you don't know something about it, it's not just, well, I chose not to be interested in that, but it actually is a void that's left in the potential of what, what your interest in your life could be. He really crafts his class as if it was, it was a design and not just a lecture. So we run into each other at the gym all the time and you'll see him walk in with a book and his face is just smushed between the pages and you have to kind of you know, shake him to, to get his attention. Last time he was my teacher was um, 27 years ago, but I still feel his presence in my profession today. So I take really seriously this class and this possibility of you leading a richer, better, more productive, more efficient, more inspiring life. Like, I could listen to him speak forever. This is something, even if you choose not to pursue it, it's something you freaking need to know about.